So let's take a look at the new map today. Chainsaw Valley. Uh, farmers and loggers unite to take over the valley. Farmers have 23 fields to choose from. Loggers have tons of forest lands to choose from. Together they can collect over 100 collectibles. Hidden throughout the entire map, this is made by FSG Modding, FSG Davar. And it's in the map categories, of course, and it's cross-platform. So first, let's take a look at the actual map. It's, it's pretty massive. They're all trees. Trees, trees, trees. But if you're still wanting to have a little bit of farming to your logging map, we have fields, 23 of them. A lot of them already have crops on them, it looks like. Got some ready to harvest. Four fields ready to harvest right off the bat. You got one that's plowed, and then you got a lot of fields that are growing. You got all the different crops, cotton, uh, soybean, corn, sunflower, sugar beets. So yeah, this is a dive right in map. Uh, let's see, price wise. Oh, you're already on that field. Ooh, man, 240,000. 101,000. I look to spend between 50 and 100 grand per field. Yeah, pretty cool. Chainsaw Valley. Uh, let's see here. Any animal stuff? Uh, let's see. We have our store, vehicle shop, animal dealer, gas station, house, water tank big silo for storage there is a sawmill built in and that looks about it the rest you'd have to do on your own once you clear out some land but there you go a little look at the map now let's fly around here and look at uh, what it looks like from way up high Plenty of trees. Trees galore, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're into forestry, then looks like you're gonna be doing just fine here. And very hilly terrain too. So it won't be like an easy, it'll be a challenge, it'll be fun. You know, something different. Massive map. Looks like we do have bridge, uh, bridges connecting to each piece of land, but there is a bridge mod pack that just came out last week if you want to have, you know, other ways of getting across the river quickly. Definitely massive. Good size map. Alright. And while we're at it, we'll check out some of these new mods here. There's not many today, that's why we can actually take the time to literally check them out, so. Uh, I'm using <laughs> that mod we just used right there, it's called Power Tools. That is not a cross-platform mod, but it is helpful for me making videos for you guys. So if you're on console, that is not available. That's, that's one way I set up these videos quickly so I can show off all the new stuff. All right, let's uh, switch pages here real quick so I can explain the other things going on here. We got the Valmet 6400, and this is going to be priced at $80,000, 100 horsepower, and top speed of 40 kilometers per hour, made by Greenland Farming, and that is a Voltra. All these are cross-platform, of course. Let's take a look in the store here. Uh, you can put 120 horsepower on it, manual plus power shift, 250 liter tank, 24 mile per hour, weighs 5.3 ton. Uh, you got your Trailborg, Nokian, Midas, Michelin, BKT, Continental, Radist. You got all the different wheels. Let's see if there's anything going on with the other uh, wheel options here. Looks like we have standard... Okay, there's some narrow tires on the Continental. But that's your only extra one, it looks like. Oh, narrow tires on that 
the the better Vredestein. Well, there you go. Uh, it does have front loader attachment for Hauer, Quickie, or none. 6,400, 100 horsepower, or 120. That'll even show on the engine 6,600 or 6,400. Color options, all the colors of the rainbow. Whatever you want, Mike. Go black rims, give it that challenger cat look. <laughs> and then you can do your license plate, of course. All right, that's the Vultra. Uh, next we have the little Saria Sida. This would be for small time farming, of course. Check that out next here. And that is gonna cost you 7,000 bucks and operating speed of 35 miles per hour, 700 liters it'll hold of seeds. And it also does fertilizer, so you can get both jobs done at once. Weighs 660 kilograms, three meters spread, operating speed of nine miles per hour, and it does all your basic crops there. All right, I'll give you a little info on that real fast. That is by Driver 300 Vemnyal, the Aseria 6000-S, three meter. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be in the Cedars category and it's cross-platform as well. All right, there are no options for it. It is what it is. You buy it the way it looks, and start using it. All right, next up we have these weights. We got a weight pack. This is a case pack, if you look closely. Or case weight, not a pack. But it does come with the aggro weight also, which is on the front of the Voltra. So you get two weights for the price of which each weight costs. You still got to pay for them, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's check out info on that real quick. That is the ACS weight pack by KRKZ Modding. And it's actually an update. Some of you may have already had it. The change log, a bar was added to the AGCO and a plate added to the AGCO and a front weight added to the AGCO. Those are new details, plate, bar, those are the new details. So that was actually an update for anybody that hasn't used those before. Or if you have used them, get it updated, dang it. All right, come on, you know what to do. And then next we're gonna look at the Lizard Cross by Suits Audi. This little goat cart here, we're taking this thing for a spin, especially on this map. Uh, this is uh, by Sluts Modding, manufacturer Lizard. It's gonna be in the cars category cross-platform like i said has fenders closed cage many colors uh, let's take a look at that real fast it's going to cost you 8500 bucks the way it is 83 horsepower 15 liter tank 60 mile per hour speed top max and weighs two ton and you got your original with fenders with fenders on front and back with a hood with a cage with cage and fender, with cage and both fenders, with cage and fenders and a hood. So there you go. Colors, all of them. Go purple if you really want to. Put a white seat on there. That's the seat color. And rim color, anything you want. There you go. Whatever floats your boat. They're pretty cool. After you add some stuff, still not going to cost much. We're still under 9,000 bucks. There you go. That's called the cross. The lizard cross. Now let's uh, fire up like four spam. Come on. Does not have any lights. Cool looking engine there. Got a horn? No horn. I don't hear any horn. Check the interior out. Speedometer does work. Look at that. Nice. Alright, get this thing dirty. Find a trail. There's gotta be a trail around here somewhere, right? Make our own trail. Now, where are the trails at? It's a darn logging mile. Nah, there'll be a trail up here somewhere. Maybe there's one behind the neighbor's house. 
Yeah, I'm about to make my own trail. If I can't find one, we'll make one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. He's a little sensitive. He's a little bit sensitive. All right, let's do some hill climbing here. Don't give up on me now. You can do it. You can do it. Nice. Would be nice to have at least a front light, like a fog light, when you're in the woods, so you can see a little better. First person views quite delightful. I love it. I love the speedometer works. Nice. But yeah, some fog lights. If the modder watches this video, can you put some fog lights on this so I can see when I'm up there in the mountains? Alright, pretty cool. Alright, so I think you get the point. Let's find a nice spot in the sunlight here to park. There you go. That's pretty sharp. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're also going to go cover some other mods. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching this part of the video. Uh, we'll catch the rest of things that aren't really... I'm not going to show you personally, but we'll look at the details on them. So I'll be right back in like two seconds. So start counting, all right? Count the two. I'll be right back. All right, did you count the two? I might have been even faster than that, but here we are. We're back to everything that came out today. Today is the 21st of February, 2022. Here's the new mods that came out. All together, we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine new mods and one update to the weights pack for cross-platform. So quiet day. That's why we did a little playing around there, showing you some stuff on some of those mods. All right, so we're going to take a look at the Sigma RM series. This is by Peppy978. We've heard that name a million times. Awesome modder. Uh, Millings Machines, fixed medium heavy from 40 horsepower to 80 horsepower. Work width 1.8 meters to 2.3 meters. Price between 4,500 and 6,500. Needed power is going to be 40 to 80 CV, 29 to 63 uh, kilowatts. Take a look at the screenshots here. This is going to be under the Power Heroes category in the mod hub there. Cross platform, and it's by Epi978 and Team FSI modding. They always say Team FSI modding. He's part of that. All right, so we got your different sizes. Great for going between your grape orchards. Beautiful. Awesome, Dante. I like the chains there. Little detail. Perfect. Even even that little crappy tractor can pull that. Has plenty of horsepower. All right. Fits between your olives and your grapes. So there you go. That's the Sigma RM series. All right. Size 5.60 megs. And uh, don't forget to rate and always rate mods. I, I know it's by a good modder already, so we'll rate it as top. Go. There you go. Even though I haven't used it, but he's, all his stuff's good. All right, let's go on to the next one. We're going to check out the Notch CWF300. That is this bad boy right here. That is made by Vertex Design, and it's going to be under the Rollers category. And required power is 60 horsepower, working width 15 kilometers per hour, or working speed, my bad. Three meter working width, it's gonna cost you 5,780. Uh, let's take a look at the screenshots there. Very small, but the cool thing, you can put it on the front and do stuff on the rear of your tractor, get two things done at once. So if you wanna, uh, I don't know, if you match up your widths, you could do that on the front, plan on the back, whatever floats your boat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? Look at that. So he's uh, rolling and planting. But some people forget that if you roll before you plant and then roll after you plant, you get a bonus. But most of us can't stand having to roll twice. Here's a good way to get rid of that little headache. Roll and plant at one time and then roll over it again, get that extra field bonus, and get a good yield on your harvest. 
All right, cool mod there. Thank you, Vertex Design. I do appreciate it. Let's rate him a thumbs up, just for the fact that we'll be able to do a chore we don't really enjoy more than once. <laughs> so thank you, Vertex Design. All right, let's back out and check out the next one. We already covered the Lizard Cross. We already covered the Balmet 6400 and Chainsaw Valley map. We already checked out that little Assaria 6000 Cedar. Uh, next, we're gonna look at the barn set. All right, we got a new barn set. This is also by Vertex Design. It's gonna be in the sheds category. Uh, cross-platform as I said and we have 29 by 16 66,500 upkeep 40 bucks a month barn three door which is this right here is gonna be 99,000 bucks with $55 a month upkeep all right vertex design very nice for small equipment if you're a small-scale farmer like myself I love doing the small-scale farming Definitely going to use this barn set. That'd be nice. All right. And that's by Vertex Design. All right. Let's check out the next one on the list. We are going to look at the Log Cabin Farmhouse by GTX right here. With its log fire heater and fully equipped kitchen, this small log cabin is the perfect place to relax after a long day on the farm. Price is going to be 18,000 bucks daily upkeep of zero. Check out those screenshots. Nice little cabin out in the woods. I oh, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> it's nice and cozy. Beautiful. Very nice. I like it. Love the furnace. That is quite sharp. Quite lovely. I must say so myself. All right. That'll be under farmhouses category. 10 megs author GTX. So go check it out if you're wanting to add a cabin to your Falman experience. You know what I'm saying? All right, next we have a. F Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A forestry bridge pack. I wasn't even joking. It's real. It's made by Ola Haldar. Ola Haldar. And it is for cross platform, of course. It's going to be under decoration category. Uh, these bridges are made for traversing challenging terrain. They come, they come in five meter, ten meter, and twenty meter lengths. All bridges cost a thousand bucks and are found in the decorations. The bridge will adapt to the underlying terrain when placed. Tip: level the ground on both sides to make the bridge level. <laughs> ah, good advice. I like how there's like moss and growing over it, over the logs. Very fancy. That is pretty sweet. So a fun mod for those of you that are big into forestry. Little little wooden bridges to place to get a, across crooked terrain or little river streams. Very nice. All right. Did I cover everything? I told you it's going to be a quiet day. There wasn't a whole lot to cover. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So check out that uh, goat cart for sh for real. Lizard Cross, that was fun. Chainsaw Valley, uh, augers, paradise, trees galore, and fields. You can do a little bit of farming on there as well. So check it out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow with whatever new mods come out. It's the International Farmer, and I'm signing off. I'd like to say goodbye.